Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Giovanni Pernis has reportedly revealed to his friends that he expects to be cleared after the BBC conducted a probe into his behavior. Amanda Abington, Giovanni's last celebrity partner, quit strictly last year due to personal reasons before reports she had demanded footage of their rehearsals after the experience in the competition left her with PTSD. Sources then claimed Amanda, Ranveer Singh and Laura Whitmore had an emotional summit where they compared notes about their time working with Giovanni on the show, prompting the BBC to launch a probe into his conduct. But it appears the dancer is confident. After a source told The Mirror he expects to be cleared by the BBC of abusive behavior after meeting with bosses to see their dossier of evidence. On Saturday, Amanda broke her silence to claim that Giovanni was abusive to her but, according to The Mirror's source, these claims were not included in the evidence put to him. Mail Online contacted Giovanni and Amanda's representatives for comment. There was yet more drama for Strictly over the weekend as Amanda lodged new complaints, a female dancer was revealed to be facing allegations of bullying and Graziano Di Prima battled further allegations that he was aggressive towards Zara McDermott. The scandal first made headlines Graziano, 30, was axed from the upcoming series last month over reports he verbally and physically abused his celebrity partner Zara, 27, during last year's competition. Speaking in her first interview since quitting Strictly Come Dancing in October, Amanda Abington, 50, said Giovanni's behavior was unnecessary. Amanda abruptly left the BBC show citing personal issues and hasn't been seen on screen since, even quitting social media last month in the wake of her former dance partner's sacking. Giovanni, 33, was suspended while a BBC probe is underway over allegations made by Ms. Abington and two other former celebrity partners. In an interview with The Sun, Amanda said, I found Giovanni's behavior unnecessary, abusive, cruel and mean. I couldn't sit back and let him do that to other people. She continued, I had to think long and hard about making a complaint because I knew the backlash I would get. But I would not have been able to live with myself for future people going on that show. It's insane what has happened to me, with the death threats and backlash. I know the BBC have known about his behavior for years, people had complained about him and flagged his behavior to producers in the past and nothing was done. It wasn't an isolated experience with me. I should never ever have danced with him. Mail Online contacted the BBC and Giovanni's representative for comment. Meanwhile, more shocking details of Graziano aggressive treatment of Zara have since been claimed. Speaking to The Sun, a source claimed the dancer got frighteningly angry at the former Love Island star. They said, Zara ran to the toilets and locked herself in. He chased after her and was screaming abuse. He was aggressive and called her nasty names. It was really scary. The source also claimed his aggressive outbursts could be heard through doors as she screamed at the 27-year-old. It is not just male dancers who are now facing allegations of abusive behavior. A former dancer has claimed tonight that a currently unnamed female strictly dancer screamed in his face and berated him off camera. The Daily Mirror reports that the household names allegations do not include physical abuse. A source said, the man in question felt very much victimized by the behavior of his strictly partner. He alleges that on several occasions she flew into a real fury when he couldn't get the steps right, and on one occasion screamed full in his face. They rode every single day.